On Saturday, February 22, 1992, Engineer George Ida was assassinated in his office in Oredo Local Government Council headquarters in Edo State. The Manchester trained engineer was chairman of the Local Government Council. Despite continuous assurance by the military authorities at the time to investigate and bring the killers to justice, nothing was done to that effect. 31 years after, his killers are probably still walking free. In this edition on History Media, we revisit the story of the gruesome assassination of engineer George Ida in 1992. We will explain why he was targeted for elimination and X-ray his likely assassins. Please come with me. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Thank you. The story of the gruesome assassination of engineer George Ida can be traced back to the early 1990s during the military era. Born in Nigeria to the family of Chief Ovia Ida, George Ida was a civil engineering graduate of the University of Manchester in 1964. He was said to have graduated in flying colors. During his study years in Manchester, Ida had a love affair with a white woman and a relationship had produced a child. He had received a scholarship from the popular Awolowo Free Education Program along with many other notable Nigerians like MKO Abiola. After his studies abroad, George Ida would return to Nigeria to put his knowledge to good use. First, he joined the private sector where he excelled in businesses such as printing press and Ida Farms. His father, Ovie Ida, was a famous sculptor in the Benin city and lived close to the Oba's palace. With the influence of his father, he went into the public service starting from the civil service. George Ida would put his knowledge in civil engineering to good use in the development of the state. A number of roads and buildings in Benin City have been attributed to his engineering masterclass. His astounding, his outstanding contributions did not go unnoticed. Rather, it gained him attention from the wider people of Benin, who called on him to take up political leadership. In response to this call, Ida decided to vie for the chairmanship of Oredo Local Government Council in the Doe State. And his bid was successful. He became the chairman of the local government area. Oredo is a local government council area of Edo State with headquarters in Benin City. The city is the capital of Edo State and also the capital city of the Benin Empire. Once he entered office in January 1991, he began a rapid transformation of the council for good. While in office, education was properly funded and children in the city that was hitherto known for its illiteracy rate began to change. Many roads were also constructed. He was regarded by many as an upright man who hated corruption. Consequently, during his short time in office, Looting of public funds under the most important local government area in Edo State was not allowed. The local government council finances were being put to good use. But just as you would expect, this angered many of his political opponents that depended on public funds for survival. On February 22, 1992, the well-loved, articulate, progressive and forward-thinking man was assassinated in Ore the local government area council building. It was a normal office day activity for George Ida on that fateful Saturday, but little did he know that he would never return home to his family. Unknown assassins were reported to have entered the local government council building in pretense of discussing business with the chairman, then shot him at point blank and left him to die in a pool of his own blood. The street became very quiet as news spread around Benin City that the chairman had been murdered in cold blood. You would hear whisperings and wailings as Edo people and Nigerians in general tried to make sense of the tragic events. The assassination of George Ida was one of the most high-profile political killings in the history of Nigeria at the time. It was during the regime of the military president Ibrahim Babangida. A busy street would subsequently be named after him, the popular George Ida Avenue in GRA, Benin City. The assassination happened when Chief John Odige Oyegun, who later became the national chairman of the APC, 
was the governor of the state under the Social Democratic Party and Pari Osayende was the police DIG. Engineer Ida was a member of the Social Democratic Party. But how did George Ida become a target for assassination? Well, it was believed that the National Republican Convention stalwart in the city wanted to take control of Edo State by all means and had to hash the sinister plot. All the political intrigues and machinations between political players of the Social Democratic Party and the NRC leading to the assassination of the beloved chairman who later come out to play out in the public domain. It became a common knowledge that the fight for political supremacy and control led to Ida's assassination. Several people would be arrested in connection with the murder and taken to Abuja. Confessional statements were reportedly made by several of those arrested as the government promised to carry out investigation into the killing and bring the perpetrators to face justice. But like many other appalling and despicable cases of open assassinations in Nigeria, nothing would come out of it. Since 1992, Edo people and Nigerians in general are still waiting for the Nigerian police to reveal who killed George Ida. And the big questions on the lips of everyone are what happened to those that were arrested and what happened to their confessional statements. The police DIG, Pari Osayende, who was actively involved in investigating the murder, inexplicably retired in what many believe was a false retirement and a plot to cover up the assassination. What is heartbreaking and mind-blowing is that those that the Benin people believe killed George Ida started running the government after his death. And to put this in contest, George Ida was a close friend to famous Bilonia businessman Gabriel Egbenidion who owned the now defunct Okada Air. However, by the mid-1990s, Okada Airlines began to decline in standard. The airline recorded three major crashes between 1988 and 1992 and was unable to bounce back as it finally won up operation in 1997. Many also believe that corruption and mismanagement as well as the military government policies towards private businesses contributed to the collapse of these businesses. In order to regain wealth and keep the illusion, he ushered in his first son, Lucky Egbenidion, to gain power from George Ida. But Lucky, who was seen as corrupt and lacked morals, stood no chance against the chairman. In the history of Ido State, the brutal assassination of George Ida remains one of the most high-profile political murders. The former governor of Ido State, Lucky Egbenidion, was alleged to be involved in the murder. There is, however, no conclusive evidence linking him or his father to the murder. It was alleged that Gabriel Egbenijan, who was a close friend to Babangida, used his connection to scuttle the investigation. To this day, nothing is heard of this case. But the allegations will be reinforced when the popular George Ida Avenue, named after the disease, was later renamed as Okada Street when Lucky Egbenijan became the governor of the state. The street was home to the palatial residence of the Esama of Benin and the father of Edo State Governor, Chief Gabriel Egbenidion. The ex-governor of the state and former APC chairman, Chief John Odige Oyegun, and the Edo Hotel. It is only our hope that the files of engineer George Ida and other well-meaning Nigerians like Bola Ige and Funcho Williams, who were assassinated at their prime, would one day be reopened and their perpetrators be brought to book. Until then, may they rest on. Meanwhile, for you to fully understand how engineer Funcho Williams was assassinated in Lagos, please click this video here. If you enjoyed the video, kindly hit the like button and consider subscribing if you have not done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.